Hey guys and welcome back to another Transformers 4 news update and this is update number 41 and yes this is just a continuation of the uh, New York Toy Fair coverage. Uh, if you haven't uh, watched the previous video uh, I urge you to go and do it because we've been over a couple of figures that have been revealed so far. Um, the Deluxe Dinobot Scorn, uh, the Voyager um, uh, Rusty Cab sort of Optimus Prime. Uh, the leader class Optimus Prime, which we all saw a couple of months ago, and the big one, leader Grimlock, leader class Grimlock, and he looks awesome. So go and check out that video, um, go and get a look at them if you haven't, um, and if you have, then stick around for this one, because we're going to be carrying on our look at the reveals. As I said, these are the official images that Hasbro released, so let's crack on with them. So next we have Scor uh, Scorn, <laughs> we've already done Scorn, next we have Strafe. And Strafe is, as you can probably tell, the two-headed flying Dinobot that we saw in the trailer. Uh, a lot of people were suggesting who this could be. Is it just a random sort of Predacon sort of thing, or is it one of the Dinobots? Well, here you go. It's one of the Dinobots. Um, and he looks awesome. Uh, really, really liking Strafe. I love his color, color design. Um, he's just a very, very nice design. Very... Cybertronian, you can tell by like, all the spikes and stuff, and very alien. It looks he looks really cool. Um, love the uh, seems to be a recurring theme with the Dinobots that you have the head shown somewhere. Uh, you know, Grimlock was on the shoulders, it seems to be the same with Strafe. You know, he has two heads, so that's quite a, a bit of an odd one. But look at the head design again on you know his actual head. Very similar to uh, the rest of the Dinobots. Um, you know, he's got the horn that Grimlock has. It's got that same sort of shape that the others have had. Um, he's got the same um, sort of eye design as, as Scorn. You know, that one sort of visor, visor look sort of thing. So, <coughs> so, um, so yeah, he looks very cool, and uh, I'll definitely be getting him because you know it, we've got to get all the Dinobots, haven't we? Come on, um, and you know he just. Um, I, I, I love what they're going for with the same... Like I said, the, the Dinobots kind of have this same design like in the head, and I, I think that's what's going to link them up. So uh, it looks really cool, and can't wait to get in. Um, front view, not too... Nothing too... Um, too dissimilar. That's what we've just been looking at, basically. It comes with a really cool gun as well, so that's pretty nice. Um, and here's another pose. We've got a few poses for... Uh, for strafe and it, get a closer look at his head it looks really cool that i really like that design um and it just proves that you can um you know collapse the wings up and stuff um you know if it's taking up too many too much shelf space because it looks like it's got quite an uh, quite an impressive wingspan uh once again the the feet are very similar to grimlock and scorn so that's that's really cool to see um and here is his weird dinobot mode um yeah, he's very collapsed up at the minute. This is probably not the best shot to show you guys because he is um, he's not looking great. It's hard to tell where things are. So we'll go on to the next shot. And that's the shot that we wanted to see. Um, two tails, two heads. Pretty straightforward. Uh, <laughs> got two wings, two tails, two heads. Um, two feet, two hands, two guns. Double everything for Strafe, I think. But he looks really cool. Um I think the Dinobot mode for Strafe is... No, I mean in the toy, not in the film. I think the Dinobot mode is going to be pretty hit and miss. Um, you know, it looks pretty simple. It looks like you just kind of lay the figure out of effectively just laying flat and that's his Dinobot mode. So um, hopefully maybe a bit of a difficult transformation, but I don't think it will be. But still very cool. Um, and then there is Strafe, guys, the two-headed Dinobot we all saw in the trailer. So going on to the next one, and this is... Uh, <laughs> this is Dinobot Slash. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's bright. Uh, <laughs> he's very bright. Um, he's uh, very bright. Uh, you know, fluorescent blue, fluorescent green. You know, black. <laughs> he's uh, he's very colourful. Is is Slash, um, and it's it's a, it's kind of like a raptor, I guess. Uh, I don't really know this the dinosaur. Um, he, I'm going to say he's kind of like a raptor because he's got what raptors have. He's got those big, you know, those big main claws on his feet, you know, one each. So, um, 
so and he looks all right like i said he looks uh, very bright uh and stuff so he's got a lot of things sticking off him so i wouldn't want to fall onto this guy i wouldn't want to be the autobot to sit on this guy because i think it's going to be very uncomfortable uh, <laughs> and then going on to his uh dinobot mode and very unique very different uh you know he's got these axe weapons um they look interesting um you know, he's uh it looks like he's wearing a builder hat on his head a bit. <laughs> um his feet look the same again, like I said, reoccurring thing with the feet. And to be honest, his face looks the same. Um the only thing with Slash is that he doesn't have a blue you know you know, like the blue eyes, he has a red visor. So is he gonna be evil? I dunno. Uh actually I'll go back and look at his picture. Can't actually see any Autobot logos anywhere, so who knows? He might be an evil Dinobot, who knows? Um, but you know they might have just given the red eyes because with so much blue it's just going to look quite difficult to to differentiate it. So, um, so he looks all right though. I'll um, if he's in the film I'll, I'll probably get pick him up, you know. But if he's not, I'm not going to be too disappointed. Um, now going on to uh, oh, oh yeah, by the way he is a deluxe by the way as well. So and uh, so is Strafe Strafe is deluxe. Um, so now going on to one of the big reveals and we have Voyager Hound. Now this looks awesome. He looks absolutely fantastic. I really want to pick this guy up. Um Hound is looking like a bit like Bulkhead um and a bit like Ironhide uh, combined into um movie Hound. But I got to say I really am digging the design of this. This is kind of our first sort of whole look at Hound. Um, and he is looking very cool. He's got a knife on his chest, so hopefully we'll see some hand-to-hand combat maybe with Hound. Um, the face looks just, you know, what I would envision Hound to look like in the movie. He's, he's got, like, the beard that we've seen, and he looks very cool. I'm really digging his design. Um, he's got this massive Gatling gun, <laughs> this absolute massive Gatling gun, with, and if that was not enough, looks like, like five rocket launchers attached to the bottom of it so you know just in case he misses uh, <laughs> and uh overall he looks really cool i'm really liking hound um probably one of the best i think in my opinion to be revealed um going on to a different pose for hound now now this is the one that's caused maybe a little bit little bit of controversy because you know people like the figure you know they like the, the face the shoulders the, the you know the, the body the legs everything but the forearms are what turning people off with this figure, and you know I can understand they do look a bit odd. But I wouldn't say oh, I'm I don't like the arms. I'm not getting to get this figure, even though I like everything else. Um, it looks they they look weird. They kind of look like um, I don't really know what they could be. It looks like it looks kind of like it in the in the movie. It's going to be like very flexible or something i don't know it's quite it's, it's very odd but i i think i don't think it looks that bad um the forearms look fine to me so but i like to, i can see why people aren't a big fan but i i like them um and yeah he's, he's got more weapons this is uh, it, i think hound it, look at oh my god look how many weapons he's got hound is loaded with weapons he is going to be the new autobots weapon specialist you know iron has died you know Hound looks like he's going to be the weapons guy for the Autobots. He has got let's let's count this. He's got a knife. He's got a big gun on his back, a big Gatling gun on his back. He's got two um, hand. Well, he's got one handheld weapon which looks like it's like a grenade launcher, rocket gun. He's got another which looks like it's like a laser cannon or something in his other hand. He's got two pistols attached to his waist. Uh, sort of pistol type guns and then you've got two others in his uh, <laughs> in his legs if you look on the inside of Hound's leg on, on his left leg you can see another gun there and there's another one holstered on the opposite leg so he's got one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven oh no one, two <laughs> I'm losing count here uh, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weapons and and look at all the artillery on him as well. He's got like bullets on his shoulders and stuff. This guy is just packing it all, isn't he? He's got everything on him. So Hound is very cool. Um, definitely be picking him up. And here is his vehicle mode. Um, another place to store his mountain of weapons. Still looks really cool. Really digging the vehicle mode. Uh, like I said, definite pickup for me. 
now we have the big reveal. I think this was one of the biggest, if not the biggest reveal at the Toy Fair. And this is where I urge, if you don't want minor spoilers, then turn the video off now. Um, this is one of the big reveals because it's been a question since the trailer that everybody has been asking. Who was the car slicing robot? You know, that guy who was, you know, he sliced the car in half. People were speculating, was it Cyclonus? Was it New Megatron? Was it Galvatron? Was it someone else? Who was it? Who was it Motormaster? Was it, does he transform into the Freightliner Argos? Does he transform into something else? Well, here's the new toy that's been revealed. It's the Freightliner Argos. It looks very cool. It looks spot on to what the Freightliner Argos is. You know, it looks very accurate. Probably picking up because of that. Um... And this is a Voyager, by the way, so it's going to be quite sizable. But going on to the reveal that you guys want to hear, and, uh, or hope to hear, we have revealed officially from Hasbro at the Toy Fair, Voyager class Galvatron. Yes, the robot, the Decepticon, whatever you want to call him, that sliced the car in half in the trailer, is not only the Freightliner Argo Z, it's Galvatron. This is massive. This is massive. I, I I didn't expect it to be Galvatron. I honestly didn't. I thought it was honest I I thought it was gonna be someone else. But Galvatron, I didn't even expect Galvatron personally to be in this film. I, I really didn't think they were gonna do that way. But it looks like they are and wow, 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 wow. This is big now because it's gonna be just epic to see Galvatron in action. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Megatron is brought back in some way, maybe, and then becomes Galvatron. Um, he's got a very nice homage, I guess, to to G1 Galvatron. You know, he's got the giant cannon. Uh, the face looks really cool. Um, you know, it looks like the face on that poster and the face that you know the Argos Freightliner were. Uh, you know, the 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 car slicing robot was. You know, he's got the big chest uh, circle thing um and he looks very cool very menacing and uh, it's very interesting now to see galvatron um announced so uh so i think we'll leave it there on for this one guys like i said we've got uh quite a few more figures to go through um only a couple more and then uh like i said then we'll move on to what else toy fair has to reveal so I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Transformers 4. And let me know in the comments section what you think about this big news of Galvatron and the Argozi Freightliner. And what do you think about all the other figures? Which ones will you be picking up and stuff? So uh, let me know in the comments section, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, have a nice day.